just wanted to give you a quick update on the little project that I was working on. Um, uh, this is the remote automated ignition system that we're going to use for the fireworks show uh, this year. Uh, I did my brief video already of what I'm using for a relay. This is a little web server. Um, and so today what I've done is I've, I've wired everything up. Um, and I, I've got my my nine volt inputs are now looping over to each relay and I've also wired the outputs for each relay uh, right along here uh, and I, one of my things I was thinking was is how am I going to put this all together and close it um, and just make it look really nice and I got to thinking uh, I was going to go to Lowe's buy some wood and build you know build me a, a crate or something to put this in and I was in my garage and I happened to look up and I seen my old uh, IntelliNet cabinet here. Um, I asked in my cabinet, I, I had the little 12 port patch panel. Um, it's gutted right now. I've got everything out here because I've hooked it up. There was a shelf, a 24 port patch panel, and I even had a blank. And it was almost perfect for the application that I wanted to use. So what I did was, is I took the shelf um and what i did was i took a little bit of a leftover pegboard that i had from when i remodeled my garage and mounted this to the shelf and then put the relay uh, switch on on the shelf and i used a little uh, screw or i'm sorry a bolt here for the spacers so it kind of lifted up the relays so it wouldn't wasn't sitting directly down on the actual uh, pegboard uh, what I have underneath is a 12 volt power supply and what I found out was is the actual web server has a hookup here for a 5 volt input um, to power this and it's not needed when you have it connected to the relay um, it powers itself uh, from from the relay board itself uh, via a 5 volt um, adapter that's pinned in here so that was kind of cool. We eliminated another power supply. So this whole um, system here runs off of the 12 volt power adapter, which I have wired in down and the power supply is down underneath the shelf. And then you see these wires here coming in. These are the nine volt power source that is actually going through the relays that will ignite uh, the igniters for the fireworks so that'll have the fuses connected to them that is actually connected into this blank panel here I've, I've set up um, and I put a switch here a toggle switch so on the back of the toggle switch you'll see the input coming in from the actual power adapter here comes into the toggle switch and from that toggle switch over to the relays so a little uh, termination strip here and then goes into the relays and what this toggle switch it's basically a safety feature so when I turn this on I'm now allowing the nine volts of power to go into the relays. Okay, so this is a this is a this is a, an important thing that I wanted to have, um, so we wouldn't inadvertently hook something up, have a short, possibly set something on fire, or worse yet, set off some fireworks inadvertently when we had people around them. So this this is actual good safety safety feature, right? So this will get mounted inside the cabinet. Um, that's my my next task is to get everything mounted up now you're wondering well i've got all this wired in where does it go well i used a a cat 5e 12 port patch panel and what i had done was is i have terminated and since this is all low voltage it's it's you know like i said under 10 volts it's it's really safe to use um, so i'm using basically a, a, a data patch panel that you would normally use for networking and I'm using for a very low voltage solution here. And what I've done was, is I've taken a ground wire, which is coming from here, and that runs all the way through. And what I've done is I've, I've looped it around the first pin of every color. As you can see here, the black wire. Let's see if I get a better shot here for you. And then what I did was I took the positive lead that comes off of the relays, which anywhere from yellow, white, red, green, blue, and I have terminated them down on the second pin of each color, which is the what we call the stripe 
uh, striped color all the way through. So essentially what I've done is I put four relays on one Cat6 cable. Now you're wondering, well, why would you want to do that for? So what I've done was instead of having a mass amount of cables running from the relay strung across um, the ground over to the fireworks, what you have now would be essentially four um, Cat6 cables. Now, on the other end of the Cat6 cable, which I don't have yet, um, the parts, I've ordered them, you have, you know, a stand, your, your, your typical network cable has four pairs. It's green, orange, blue, and brown with a, you know, white, orange, white, green, white, blue, white, brown. So each one of these is an actual um, relay, right? That's your positive and your ground return. So what I've ordered is um, 16 of the, uh, how to explain it, This the speaker that you push down, there's a red and black, and you push the little button down and you feed the wire in, and it's like a friction hold. And what I've done, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solder these on the back of those, and then on the front part where you would normally plug a speaker in, that's where the safety fuse will actually, or the, the igniter plugs into, and it's very easy. You just push down, push it, and, you know, push the cable in. So they're easily uh, interchangeable. So after our show, basically I can just unplug all of those spent igniters and throw them away. And I just unplug my patch cables, uh, curl, you know, curl up my cables, put it away, and we're done till next year. So, so my next task is going to put everything inside here, inside the, the, the new cabinet or this old cabinet that I had sitting around. And we're still working on the software portion of this. Um, uh, this is still the interface for the, the mini little web server. We wanted to kind of simplify this or dress it up a little bit. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is put my Raspberry Pi here running Apache. Um, I'm going to write, uh, my, my buddy and, and I are going to work on writing either an HTML um, page or some PHP scripts um, and dress it up so we can make the buttons and, and maybe, maybe set up some timers and whatnot. Um, so that's soon to come as well and, and some later updates. So uh, again, I hope you guys are all having a great uh, Sunday. This is all I have for now and stay tuned for uh, what would be part three of my home built uh, fireworks ignition system. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you like it, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Leave me some comments. Let me know what I could do better and uh, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks.